feel like I'm always singing when I start my videos. And there is always noise outside of my house. Like it's so quiet. It's so quiet before I start filming. As soon as I hit record, it's like, no. Here you go. Here's everything. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Lara, nice to meet you if you're new here. Nice to see if you're not new here. How's it going? Thanks for coming back. Hi Tip. I have, I'm trying to get them stacked. Come on now. I have a stack of books right here. I had my mom choose my September TBR because I'm going to see her in September. I'm super excited. I can't wait to see her. And I thought if I'm going to see my mom and I'm going to be reading, I should have her pick what books I'm going to be reading when I see her. <laughs> I will say we're going on like a late summer vacation. These are not summer books. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Love her. Thanks, mom, for participating in this video. I sent my mom pictures of each of my shelves and then I marked out books that she couldn't pick because I've read them before or because I have them already marked out for other videos. I told her to pick four books. I ended up going with five. I told her to pick five eventually, but I told her to pick four books that she wants me to read. She picked them. My mom also reads. I feel like what my mom reads is kind of different from what I read. She reads like thriller, mystery books, dark romance. We read on like the same page, different fonts. I read fluffy romance books. I read fantasy and my mom is like dark romance, thriller. I feel like it reflects on what she picked too. <laughs> like I said, five books here and I'm going to read. I never follow my TBR and I'm going to follow this TBR. She firstly picked Good Girl, Bad Blood by Holly Jackson. And then I was like, mom, that's the second book in a series. Do you want me to read the first book also? Or do you just wanna pick a different book? And she said, go ahead and read the first book. Good Girl's Guide to Murder and Good Girl, Bad Blood by Holly Jackson. I mean, I did just tell you guys that I have been meaning to read these books and they have been sitting on my shelf since a couple years at this point. <laughs> We are going to read these two books this month and I'm also going to grab the third book because I am going to read these books for a video. Basically, a girl dies in her hometown and they think it's her boyfriend. The case is closed and done and Pip, her senior year, decides that she wants to reopen the case and investigate it herself. She does not think the boyfriend killed the girl. She discovers a bunch of stuff and somebody decides, you know what, Pip, we don't want you discovering any of that stuff. and. That's what that's about. This one, no clue, but I'm not gonna know. We're just gonna, I would assume it follows the same storyline or a different storyline, but she's still investigating. Good Girl's Guide to Murder, Good Girl, Bad Blood, Holly Jackson. Thanks, mom. She chose The Final Gambit by Jennifer Lynn Barnes because she read this series. I read The Inheritance Games. I told her it was a good book. I think my little sister would really like it. My mom was like, I'm gonna read that too. She finished the book grabbed the second book, and then immediately went for the third book. She was like, well, obviously I'm gonna make you choose Final Gambit. And I'm ready to get back into this world. I loved the inheritance game in Hawthorne Legacy. Avery inherited a bunch of money from this old guy who died and she doesn't know him, never met him before, and she has to hold up a deal to actually receive all the money. So she has to stay in this house for a year. That's all I can think of right now. What else happens? There's like two brothers that she's trying to, I think in this book, she picks a brother. There's like a love triangle between the two brothers and her. There's a bunch of mystery things going on. It's really fun to kind of just like go into the book. Chapters are short. The final gambit, mom wants me to read. My mom chose Triple Duty Bodyguards by Lily Gold because it looks a bit smutty to her. <laughs> I was like, yeah, girl, you're right. Smut. This is about three bodyguards. One of the world's most hated celebrities. I'm used to unwanted attention, but when I wake up one morning to find an obsessed stalker has broken into my house, I know I need security fast. Enter the angels. My three ex-military bodyguards, Glenn, the gentle Scottish sweetheart, Kenta, their secretive long-haired soldier, and Matt, the blue-eyed, bad-tempered leader. Having three gorgeous men guarding me 24-7 sounds like a dream come true, but it turns out to be a nightmare. We don't get on. They think I'm a demanding diva. I think they're overdramatic. When a trip to America sends a guy's protective instincts into overdrive, the sizzling tension between us finally breaks, and I learn my bodyguard's biggest secret. They want me. All three of them. Super excited though. Thanks, mom. And then finally, 
We're going back to YA, Mom Chose the Cool Prince by Holly Black, which is a fantasy, a YA fantasy, I think. I think it's enemies to lovers. I'm not really sure what this is about. It doesn't really give too much on the back, except for there's fairies in this and enemies to lovers. I've heard this is enemies to lovers, but it's more about the politics. You know, I don't really know, but the Cool Prince is another book she's making me start that's got a series to it. I'm reading series, aren't I? I'm excited though. I love that she picked books that I've just been putting off, honestly, because every single one of these books has been on my TBR except for The Final Gambit, I guess. But I've still been putting it off because I could have bought the hardcover a long time ago, but I haven't. She's making me go through my TBR, which I appreciate. I will absolutely be reading these. I'm going to force myself to read all of them. And it's not like they're bad books. I'm super ex i'm ecstatic to read all of these if i can find another word for excited the good thing is they're all quite short except for triple duty triple duty is long triple duty is over 400 pages but all of these ya books i feel like i can honestly just fly through them maybe i say that but it's probably gonna take me forever to read them these are my five books that my mom chose for my september tbr thanks mom it's just so funny how what she chose. I kind of expected her to choose different ones. I knew she was going to pick Final Gamut, but I did not know she was going to pick any of these other ones. So I thought it was going to be more of like what the cover looks like or like books she bought me or anything like that. I'm ready though. Thanks mom. Can't wait to see you. Miss you. But that's all for this video. Thanks guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Maybe subscribe if you want to. Maybe you don't have to, but like if you want to, that'd be really cool. Thanks. I hopefully will see you next time. Thanks for